Hey, Grace family, I hope you've had a tremendous week. I uh, got to play in the snow a little bit. Um, hopefully you took your kids out there, built a snowman, went sledding, uh, did something fun. Uh, it's unique for us to get uh, this much snow. Hopefully it'll come one more time uh, this winter. Um, but uh, anyways, I hope, you, I hope you've had a great uh, week. This Sunday morning, we are going to uh, continue on in Ephesians chapter 4. Uh, we're going to start in verse 11 and go to verse 16. And the, the message title this week is, is Unity. Uh, we're going to talk about unity in the body of believers. And uh, I'm going to read to you uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11, 12, real, real fast. It says, And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and the teachers to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, for the building up of the body of Christ. And so, just like we talked about last week and, and heading in uh, to this week, the reason that uh, we equip the saints uh, at Grace Community Baptist Church and, and in all the, the churches, the reason we equip the saints is for the building up of the body of believers. And so that's what we're going to be talking about is, is what it means to be in unity uh, with one another, what it means to be a part of a body of believers. Why do we have local churches? Why do we have uh, a body of believers that Paul talks about when he uses this, uh, this analogy of a body? Why do we have members of a body of believers? And so we're going to talk about community. Why is it important to be a part of a community? Why is it important to be authentic with one another? Uh, so it's going to be a really good study uh, as we continue on through Ephesians chapter 4. I just love this study. I love this study through Ephesians and, and all that we're learning together um, as a church. And so uh, I look forward to seeing you uh, on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Just a couple of announcements. Number one, tomorrow morning, uh, today's Friday, so tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, 8 o'clock, uh, we have our men's prayer breakfast. And I uh, look forward to seeing you there. Uh, if you haven't RSVP'd, go ahead and email me. Um, and that way we make sure we have enough food uh, for the morning. We've got a lot of people coming, uh, so we're really excited about that. Also, next week we have our Amazing Love Conference, uh, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All the information is on the website, so uh, make sure you go check that out. And uh, I think you need to RSVP for Friday night because we're doing a dinner uh, just to make sure we have enough food for that. So make sure you do that. And, uh, and then we've got our ladies uh, fellowship coming up, which will be on the 17th, I believe. And the Bible study starts on the 25th. So a lot of things going on here at Grace Community Baptist Church. And it's all focused on building up the body of believers. My focus is on equipping the saints and the building up of the body of believers. And so everything we're doing is for that purpose. I mean, it's exactly what Paul's talking about in Ephesians chapter 4. And so be a part of that. Be a part of what's going on here at Grace Community. Don't just let things slip by. Don't, don't just get distracted by something else. Prioritize uh, this church. Prioritize the body of believers. It's a part of walking in a manner that's worthy of your calling, uh, which is what Paul's been talking about. Uh, in Ephesians chapter 4. So look forward to seeing you on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. And my challenge to you in 2020 is bring somebody with you. Uh, so I'll see you on Sunday at 10 a.m.